The biggest complaint I get from women post dates is that the guys did not ask a single question. Instead, he just talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. Questions are what builds a foundation for getting to know one another. And questions can also help you select the right woman for you. Without questions and caring about the answers, you're just a tap dancing monkey aiming to please the woman you're sitting across from. There are about a million and one videos on YouTube talking about what questions to ask women, but there are very few that tell you how to ask them and what to do with their answers that will lead to more attraction, increased flirtation, and hopefully a little making out. Which is why in today's video, I'm going to tell you the three best flirting questions to ask women that get them excited. The three questions are part of this amazing little Q&A game you can play with women that will have you asking questions the right way so that they can skyrocket your conversations to instantly flirty levels and establish you as a non-needy, non-pleasing man. So pay attention, keep watching. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I'm going to be your very own personal wing girl and it's my job to give you the no BS, honest truth about what women want versus what they say they want. Plus, I tell you everything you need to know about what you can do to get the girls you want without looking like a creep or a nice guy. I put up a new video every Tuesday, so keep an eye out for my videos. And also, <laughs> hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. All right, let's get started. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I am the queen of watching cheesy TV. Not cheesy reality, because I am a classy lady, uh, but queen of watching super cheesy dramas that are just oh so good. So the other night, I was watching Grey's Anatomy, and this scene came on with a perfect example of questions to ask women and how to respond to build attraction and really get the flirting game started. Sadly, I'm not able to post that scene in this video, but I can walk you through it step by step and line by line. So if you do want to see this video, I post the clip on my website, and I'll include that link in the description box so you can see it in action. All right, so let me set the scene of this scene. One of the main characters is at a medical conference and she runs into this guy she used to work with who is quite bold and reveals to her that he always used to have a crush on her. And she replies back that she always had a crush on him as well, which means attraction is there. Both parties have pictured each other naked and doing really fun stuff with each other. So cut to the next scene and they are walking by this hotel pool which is totally shut down and no one else is there and the guy says to her, okay, so we only have 36 more hours to get to know each other, I'm going to do a lightning round. Don't think, just answer. You ready? So this on its own is super cute, super manly, and super smart. Why? Because with this statement, he's taking the lead, showing he wants to get to know this woman, and he knows how to do it in a playful and fun way. So then she responds with, okay, I'm ready, to indicate she's up for the challenge. See how it's already setting a tone for excitement and play? And then he hits her with, all right, favorite snack food. This isn't a mind-blowing question, but it's kind of intimate and also kid-like. And she says pretzels, very proudly and owning her snack of choice. To which she responds, wow, failed your first question. Pretzels are like the favorite snack food of prisoners who haven't had snacks in years and don't remember what snacks are meant to taste like. He, of course, said this with a smile on his face to indicate that he was joking, but what he also indicated was that he didn't feel the need to appease with a wow, great choice, pretzels, and put her up on a pedestal. She then responds with, I'm not one to fail especially after the first question. So give me another one, hit me up with another one. He asks, all right, favorite movie. And when she gives her response, he follows up with, why? I loved when he said why, because it showed that he didn't want to exchange data with a woman just to do it. He wanted to see how she works, how she thinks, and why she thinks like she thinks. Another way to establish that you as a man need to see value in someone else in order to give more time and more attention to them. So wondering why a woman does things and asking to elaborate on that helps you position yourself as a man with self-respect, sexy. It also adds depth to your character and helps with deeper connections. So she elaborated, gave her feelings about why Amelie was her favorite movie, which gave him more insight into her. Then his final question was, perfect day off. And she walked him through the dreamiest of days for her, what she views as perfection and what makes her happy. Do you see how in just three questions he got to know so much about her and he did it in a playful way that showed so much about him. He didn't ask, 
what do you do for a living? Or where do you live? Do you, do you like Arizona? He asked questions that got to her core and he asked her to elaborate, which gave him an even deeper look into who she is and ways to connect with her on a deeper level. And by the way, deeper doesn't mean that you're thinking of this one for marriage a long term. Deeper just means he got under her skin so that she felt closer and more open with him. So then it's his turn to answer the questions and she goes through each one and he's ready with an answer. And because he's built up such good vibes between the two of them and gotten intimate with his questions and her answers, he knows he can push to that next level even more. And remember, he knows there is attraction there because she's already stated she also had a crush on him and has left the conference and gone walking with him in a space where it's just the two of them. Both are huge signs she's attracted, curious, and engaged. When she gets to her final question, he gives an amazing answer to your perfect day. And he says, I wake up and roll over to a beautiful heart surgeon in my bed beside me and I do that thing to her that makes her lower back arch. And then he takes a pause. Honestly, when I watched this, I was like, I want someone to say that to me right now. <laughs> After he pauses, he kind of blushes slyly at her and she leans in and kisses him. This is complete literatica female fiction to a T and it works so well. All about the slow build to the tension to the boldness and then completion. It's freaking hot. And this was all from three simple questions executed in just the right way to slowly build attraction and escalate the interaction. Now, these don't have to be your questions that you ask, but if you can kind of keep with the idea behind each of them, you can and will get similar results with women. So let me review the flow that will work and the how behind each question. First question, ask a question about a favorite secret behavior that's kind of kid-like and then tease her about her response. Favorite hobby, pastime, toy, video game. Question two, ask about a more broad favorite. Music, TV shows, movie, places to travel. Question three, ask her to walk you through her idea of a perfect and happy day. Perfect kiss, perfect date, perfect whatever. And boom, the perfect flow of flirty questions that lead to more. You're welcome. Now, if you use this three question recipe or routine, whatever you want to call it, you are going to be stunned at how girls react to you. But I have to confess, there's one missing piece in this little puzzle. And it all comes down to whether or not you are good at flirting and reading the woman in front of you, which most guys are not able to do. They're unable to do it. Most guys suck at flirting. They can't flirt their way out of a paper bag. But as your personal wing girl, I can't let you be one of those guys. That's why I want to show you the most effective step step-by-step -step formulaic approach to flirting with any girl you like. This formulaic approach has been tested on thousands of girls and has proven to work like magic. You just apply the formula and you see results instantly. It's that powerful. I made a special video for you where I reveal what the formula is all about. Just click the link in the description box now or click somewhere on the screen to watch the video now and I'll see you soon.